We go in depth now with the Target 12 investigators. It's been a little more than two months since suspects stole nearly half a million dollars from Santander Bank on Atwell's Ave in Providence. Since then, three suspects have been arrested, two out on bond, and only a fraction of the missing money has been found. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie has been tracking this story from the beginning. And Alex, this week you learned more about the storage unit connected to the heist. Yeah, so that North Providence storage unit is where detectives eventually found close to $25,000 when a unit was raided in early July. New court documents show most of that money was in a small safe, Kate, while other bills were in a smaller cash box. But we now know police also seized more than money from that storage unit into evidence. They took a black ski mask, Nike Jordan sneakers, Android phones, a laptop, documents, and an EBT card, all in the name of Justine Fernandez. Okay, and Fernandez is one of the three suspects accused in the theft. Police say she helped take money from the so remind us how she was caught. So in early July, Kate, Providence police learned that Fernandez may have been involved in this heist. Detectives were aware that she had two active warrants out for her for failing to appear in court related to forgery, counterfeiting, and drug possession charges. So when police found her on Broad Street on July 7th, they took her into custody and brought her in for questioning. But she ID'd two other culprits seen here. The 37-year-old told police her friend Stanley Palmer asked her to use her car. They drove to the bank with Palmer's girlfriend, Tracy Delgado, a Santander bank employee that Fernandez said Delgado opened the vault where she says she helped her take out bags of money. Court documents say police believe Fernandez used some of her cut to buy a new car. Now, police also believe that Fernandez went to that storage unit 11 times after the heist, meaning she may have been in possession of even more than the roughly 25K that was eventually found in that unit. Delgado and Palmer have been out on bond since their arrest earlier this month, but all are due back in court later this fall. Wow. Target 12 investigator Alexandra Leslie, thank you so much for being here with that update. Thanks for having me.